Youngstown, Ohio, home to hardworking steel workers, dedicated educators, world-class restaurants, and now an emerging designer and craftsman who's sewing up the fashion scene one stitch at a time. And it all started with a few simple hats. It started with hats, yeah. So we started uh, buying blank hats and then embroidering our logo or, uh, you know, stuff on them that clients wanted. And then it, it steamrolled into, I had a, a book with a bunch of designs in it. And then we would take that and I found a pattern maker and she showed me how to, you know, grade and cut patterns and sew. And then from there, it's just a lot of just man hours watching it and then practicing. And then from there, you try to sell the stuff that you make. Meet Joe Guerreri, founder of Private Stash Atelier. It's a brand that's fast becoming synonymous with stylish sophistication. From the industrial heart of Youngstown, Joe is weaving his way into the world of men's and women's fashion with a unique blend of classic craftsmanship and contemporary flair, a world that 10 years ago intimidated him. So when I first came up in this fashion industry, I couldn't afford anything. So going into places, it was a little daunting. It was, you know, it, it smells too nice in here. It looks too nice in here. All the, the guys that are in here are dressed to the T, you know, it's almost discouraging. And uh, we don't want that atmosphere in here. I never liked it. Um, you know, we know if you're coming here because we're appointment only, we know you're getting something. So it's more of a butler service because our products kind of speaks for itself at this point. We've been doing it long enough. Um, to where we just want you to have fun in here. You know, you look at the fabric books, you look at the buttons, you look at all the trimmings. Um, you're learning almost much as more than you're uh, coming in here just to buy something. And Joe is certainly making a statement. Known for his impeccable tailoring and innovative designs, his work is causing quite the buzz. And if you'll pardon the pun, he's truly a designer who's threading the needle between tradition and trend and value. A custom-made private stash suit starts at about $800. You know, a lot of uh, competitors will start around like $1,500, two grand, upwards of that. Um, we own a lot of our fabric, so we're able to beat the prices down quite a bit to help our clients in that, you know, that are on the fence. Do I want to try this? Don't I want to try this? Um, we brought it in to, again, because people are self-conscious. I mean, 200 bucks is a lot to everybody, 800 bucks is a lot to everybody. Um, we just want to make sure people are comfortable when they come in here. And, and, you know, we tell guys before they even come in, bring us some stuff that you already have. Uh, if we can recut it for a couple hundred bucks, it'll feel like a brand new suit. So you can allocate that money elsewhere. You know, maybe get you some shirts some ties, pocket squares, things that'll really vamp up your wardrobe and get you the most out of it. Growing up in the Youngstown area, Joe was no stranger to hard work. His family's background in art and in business influenced his meticulous approach to bringing his designs to life. I've always had creative people in my family and a lot of them are self-employed. So when you're self-employed, you gotta be creative. Uh, growing up, my grandmother and my mom were really good artists. Um, so I think that helped encourage me to get a little bit more in the arts as I got older. Um, I enjoyed it in high school, in grammar school. Um, and then when I left Youngstown, I went to California and kind of seeing what everything was out there and what was to offer. I was like, eh, maybe I'll try this. And then you try something and you're like, it's kind of cool. I enjoyed this. And then it just kind of snowballs into the next thing and the next thing. And the next thing you know, you got a bunch of little tentacles reaching out to different avenues. Now he's stitching together a reputation for precision and creativity, all while catering to the client's needs and wants. Once you start getting to know them, we start getting into the fitting room after our design session. And then that's when, you know, you see like kind of how they like to dress. You know, you got some guys that are used to just wearing stuff that hangs on them. And then you got some guys that like their stuff skin tight. Um, so we try to just mediate it. Um, the biggest thing is client expectation. You know, when somebody that never done made to measure or bespoke, uh, we want to get them as comfortable as possible. Um, so we're encouraging them just to, there's two things we, we tell them to look for. Do you feel like when you're putting this on, do you feel like you're hulking out of it? Or is this just a new sensation? You know, are you, are you not used to feeling the arm pull that high up? Are you not feeling the, the rise of your pants a little higher, a little bit tighter in the, the hem, the taper? So. As Joe continues to design his success story, one thing is clear. This Youngstown native is sewing his way to the top, proving that with creativity and dedication, sky's the limit especially when there's a connection to Youngstown. So we just finished a round of suits for a local YSU football player who actually plays with the Colts now, uh, Drew Ogletree. Um, for him, we didn't want to go too wild with the suits for our opening approach. We wanted to get him a wardrobe because he didn't really have much in it. Um, we wanted to get him something that he could wear to player engagements, uh, hospital visits, uh, media outlets, you know, interviews, things like that. Um, 
So we wanted something that was well-rounded that, you know, he wasn't going to wear more than once and somebody was going to, hey, you wear that suit more than once. I, I know, you know you're known for that suit. We want him something that can kind of blend in and, and still look, you know, sharp.